Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope you're all well. These are your November readings. Um, I'm going to focus mainly on love, but if I feel the need to speak of uh, whatever else the reading shows up, so I will be doing that as well. Um, whatever comes to mind, whatever I feel intuitively. So uh, November 2017 general and love readings they are and I will be using the um, the Rider Waite Tarot um, but it's by AGM Urania this edition and it's a really simple um, deck that I love using and I have used them in the past I love the energy that they give off also the usual Lavera Sibila by Massangini that you know I use every month. Um, also, of course, Doreen Virtue, uh, Romance Angels. Okay, that's a must. And also the uh, Lenormand Fortune Telling Cards. And it's the edition, the legendary 18th century oracle. Okay, it's by Harold Joston. Hopefully that's the way that we pronounce it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using for your November readings. Also, I'd like to add a couple of messages. First of all, I will be doing uh, the full moon in Taurus reading, which will be a general reading for all the signs. So look out for that in the next few days. And as well as the, um, the new moon which will be in Scorpio later on in the month of November. So I hope that you're all enjoying the extra readings and I will be um, doing more readings so I will keep you informed in relation to those as soon as I have the news. So thank you all so much for all that you do for my channel and I, I am sending you my blessings. Um, and hopefully everyone's, you know, on the right path for themselves. And of those of you that are trying to move on to the right path, good luck with that. I do know that there are a lot of um, energies where there's a lot of change. And I see that all around me. And it is a theme in the past, I would say from the, um, you know, the past couple of years, it's been ongoing with these eclipses. Now, um, from what I know, the um, the full moon in Taurus, which will be real soon, and the new moon in Scorpio, those um, those days will be touching upon the eclipses of August 2017, which was uh, the uh, the lunar eclipse, which took place in Aquarius at. Uh, on the 7th of August, and that was at 15 degrees of Aquarius, and also on the uh, eclipse, which took place on the 21st of August in Leo, and that was at, um, if I'm not mistaken, 28 degrees, 28 to 29 degrees of Leo. So they, those, um, those sensitive points, you know, they're going to be touched by these... Um, the lunar movements, the as I said, the full moon in Taurus and the new moon in Scorpio, which are taking place in November. So do know that even though the eclipses took place a couple of months back, uh, the energies are coming back around. So, and with Jupiter in Scorpio, get ready. It's as though we're on a roller coaster, and there are a lot of changes coming in again another lot of major changes. It looks as though Jupiter is trying to clear out all the muck, you know. Scorpio is all about what's hidden beneath. Um, so for each and every one of you, it's going to be different because you, you're all born at a different time and it's hitting your personal lives on a different level. So I'd just like to wish everyone good luck with that. I do know I am <laughs> affected greatly Okay, because it is touching the full moon um, in Taurus is actually going to be touching my Mars, my natal Mars. 
Um, and then the new moon in Scorpio is touching my um, my moon, natal moon. So wish me luck. Okay. Okay, let's take a deep breath and uh, go on to your readings. I'm so looking forward to doing November for you guys on time. Yay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for listening to these messages. Please don't forget to give me a like. Thank you so much. Hello Virgo, welcome to Divine Debut. This is your reading for November 2017. Hope you're all doing really well. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for being here. Let's see. For Virgo, please universe, spirit guides and angels. What is happening in November 2017 in relation to love? And everything else. What is the message for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Uh, Virgo 2017, November. Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel, Spirit Guides Angels, please enlighten me. What is the message for Virgo? Virgo, November 2017, November 2017, love and general messages. Oh, okay. The will of fortune, big change is coming in. That's what Jupiter is bringing you in Scorpio, my dear Virgos. Okay, so completions, completions, the world card, two major arcanas off the bat. Your challenge card is the five, five of swords. Wow, in the distant past, you've got the justice card, another major arcana, queen of wands in the near past position. Crowning your uh, reading is the chariot, another major arcana. In your near future, we've got the five of cups. In the advice position, you've got the star, another major, wow. Ace of wands in the environment position. Oh, wow, wow. Hopes and fears, you've got the four of wands and what is the outcome, dear universe? Page of swords, two more cards for more clarification. Look at that, Ten of Swords and King of Wands. Well, Jupiter, the card of Jupiter, Will of Fortune, says that there is something is changing quickly here, okay? Something is really, really moving. What are we going through? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is an energy of not knowing which way to go. What's the right choice to make? Lack of clarity. You've got choices. That's what this card says. Which is the right one though? Too many things are up in the air. Your emotional state is up in the air. There is no groundedness. Dear Virgo, even though you're an earth sign and you're usually very grounded, you're not grounded at the moment. Death, there's Scorpio. Okay, there is a death happening. Okay, and that is for some of you, and I, I'm sorry to say this, this can be a literal passing. Okay, because we've got so many difficult cards here. Okay, but whatever it is, for those maybe one or two percent of you, it is time for someone to move on. Okay, that's what the universe says. Maybe things are up in the air and it is time for someone to move on. But metaphorically speaking, for a lot of you, there is a major change coming in. We've got the 10 here. We've also got the Ten of Swords here. 
okay we've also got the world card here which is a cycle which is finishing up we've got cycles coming to an end major changes dear Virgo okay whatever lessons have been learned it's time to complete if this is karmic and we've got a lot of karmic cards the wheel of fortune the justice card very strong very strong and with the um, the card of the world which is again that's the end of the lesson it's time to open up a new cycle something new is opening up in your life but your challenge is to finish up with what is not working in your life five of swords there is a battle your challenge is to push through it is a five which says that there are external things coming in external people situations information whatever it is that is coming in you're at the five and at the end of your reading you're at the ten which says that you are halfway there halfway but we go from the five to the ten so that says to me that it's going to be quick it's going to go from one point to the other quickly and in the near future position we've got another five so the change has already begun because we've got the justice card and this was Jupiter in Libra trying to bring in the balance for you okay the justice card is a number 11 new door opening some of you are coming out of a marriage you're at the point of no return there's no going back there is no going back there is only moving forward for those of you that are single and you know you've been through difficult times in the past not being able to find your balance we've got the chariot card here which is the card of cancer cancer is the fourth house which is speaks about your stability your home and your roots some of you are literally moving you know you're taking your vehicle motor vehicle whatever this is and moving moving house okay um, some of you even may be moving overseas because we've got the world card we've also got we've also got the star card this is in your position the advice position and how people see you the star card is the card of Aquarius so some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius you may be going into battle with an Aquarius someone may be speaking with a very strong tone very strong words that cut to the bone for others of you it could be a Libra this is the card of Libra now Sun Moon or rising we've got Cancer here we've got Libra here also the world card to me is Saturn Saturn is in Sagittarius okay Saturn is finishing up in Sagittarius on the 9th of December so whatever you've gone through whatever difficulties Saturn is the um, the planet of difficulty of standing in your integrity okay and Sagittarius is your belief system standing up for what you believe in Sagittarius is also a sign which speaks of foreigners foreign countries places at a distance so if you've done the hard work you will receive what you are due to receive by the time Saturn moves into Capricorn which should be on the 10th of December and that is its ruling sign like 
Saturn is the ruler. It is the lord of Capricorn. And also Saturn is the ruler of Aquarius. Now, we do have the King and the Queen of Wands and they are having a conversation. I believe that this is your energy here. So you're feeling very passionate. We've also got the Ace of Wands which is in the environment position even though your earth element, I feel as though you feel very strongly, very passionate. There is someone that is showing up in the outcome position, the king of wands. Now, karma, when we've got a king and a queen of the same element, this says to me that this is karmic, whatever is happening here. We are talking about the elements of fire, the element of fire. So Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, we could be speaking of sun, moon or rising. Whatever happens here, the near future is showing that you are going through major change. Another five. This person is looking at the three cups. They are not looking behind their back. This is a period of mourning, going through change, but needing to go through this, needing to go through this change. And that's the way it is. Changes can never be easy, especially when we've got a crowning card like the chariot. This is overcoming obstacles. It is a seven. Sevens are all about being conflicted you know, conflictual energy, but it is on your mind. It is a literal and metaphorical movement. And I believe we're speaking both things here. You will be moving. That is what's on your mind. It will be happening though. So the star card is a card of healing, right? Also, it's a card of communication, okay? Now, again, the star card, it's a wish card. It is a wish card. And also, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Um, Uranus. Uranus is also a the ruler of Aquarius. So whatever Uranus is up to, which it's, at the final degrees of, of uh, Pisces, uh, sorry, of Aries, it is nearly, I think in May next year, 2018, it is moving into Taurus. Now, Taurus is the second house. It's all about, you know, um, what we value, uh, what we hold close to our heart because obviously what we value brings us stability. Taurus is an earth sign. It's a fixed sign. Okay, Taurus is all about comforts, uh, working hard to accomplish something that is very valuable, something that is in your comfort zone. That, that's what it looks as though you are working hard to accomplish. And also Scorpio is, um, Scorpio with Jupiter, Jupiter in Scorpio right now. Scorpio is the opposite sign of Taurus. So it is very relevant, okay, very relevant. So whatever is happening in Scorpio with Jupiter does affect the sign of Taurus, the house of Taurus. Now in your environment position, again, Ace of Wands, which says new beginning, new beginning. This is a card uh, up your sleeve. This is something that you're going to be inspired by, something that's uh, going to be coming in to help you 
ignite your passion for whatever you want to manifest. Okay, but this is, again, environment which says that what is external to you, there is something coming in. In your hopes and fears, this is obviously what you're hoping for, stability. It's a four. You're hoping for a celebration. You're hoping for a wedding. You're hoping for an engagement to take your relationship to the next level, whatever it is. For those of you that are already coupled, obviously there is something in your life that is that is giving you a lot of hardship. It's as though there is a major disagreement or there is something, um, something that you've lost, something that went astray, something that came in to cause for you, for you to be, it's a challenge, something that's come in external, okay, it may not be the relationship with your partner, it may be something else coming in. I don't know if this would be a third person, it could be, or it just could be anything else that comes in to, to bring in difficulty, to, you know, to make you lose your balance, but We've got the justice card here, and this has happened in the past. But you're, you're, it's as though you are plowing through the difficulties, trying to find your balance. So something has got to end, okay? Something has got to come to a close. It is time to change, uh, to turn a page. That's what the Page of sword, Swords speaks of. For some of you, this could be in relation to study, you know, a career path, who knows? Maybe your career path is taking you to a distance, to a faraway land. It, Whatever it is, it is conflicting you. Also, the Page of Swords, again, air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Some truth is coming to light which is bringing in difficult energy coming to a close. Okay, this is as low as you can get, the Ten of Swords. Whatever deception or lack of clarity, lack of truth happened here, the truth is coming in, okay, to bring in the change. The King of Wands is someone who is in a good position, he's a king, he's been through the lessons, he has the know-how, he has the leadership qualities. So if this is your partner, they're in a position where they know what to do, they know what is the next step here. As I said, if this is in relation to business and partnership, the right partner is coming in. If this is in relation to love, the truth is going to come to light. Whatever difficult communication happened for you in the past where you were in a lack of balance, it is balancing out for you. And whatever choice you had to make, you are being enlightened. You've got so many major arcanas here. It is not funny. Let me look at this um, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, please, Spirit Guidance Angels. What is this external Ace of Wands? Eight of Wands, literal movement, the arrows of Cupid, flight travel, internet communication, very quick movement, very quick movement. For those of you that are changing, resident, residence, very quick movement. Um, for those of you that maybe wanted to sell your home, right, 
and you were conflicted maybe there were there was a disagreement with your partner in relation to the family home the price whatever there is going to be quick communication quick movement the uh, the energies are that there is a quick very quick communication coming in which is going to change change the situation and I'm surprised that we don't actually have the tower card here so let me take one more here next to the eight of wands you know what I just realized not even one pentacle here not even one four of swords a time of stagnation a time of waiting waiting before you go out to battle and then we've got the emperor the emperor is a number four which speaks of your home and your stability again this could be an Aries or a Taurus or this is a leader, someone who is able to lead and rule their kingdom. But whatever the case, now this if this is a person or not, I believe that this is someone who is able to rule. This could be someone who is in your family, which is guiding you, which is uh, advising you. But also the emperor could be, and for me it stands for Saturn, what Saturn is doing in your life um, and I did speak of that before whatever the case this person here is above the king of wands but he can be very difficult in the sense that we know the energies of Saturn right you have to stand in your integrity remember this could even be your energy where you've got to stand up, take the lead in your life to bring in stability. For others of you, as I said, this could be someone else. This could be a father, okay? This could be the person that you are closing the door on or because fire, we've got fire, two fire signs here. This could be the same person as this king of wands yeah it just says that they have been through the lessons he is he has grown he or she they've learned the lessons they've got the experience and we've got the seven of swords now I did not say where I was going to put this card did I whatever the case the seven of swords that says that there is a sneaky behavior or just trying to uh, accomplish something without being noticed now this is again a swords card I believe that whoever's energy whose ever energy that is there is information that uh, is beneath the surface there is sneaky behavior here and because it is a card of air whatever intellectual or information you are waiting on there is going to be an enlightenment in relation to what is happening beneath the surface and again again Jupiter will take care of that okay because oops I was going to say that I was going to look at the five of uh, cups because Scorpio is the eighth house which the eighth house is things that are deep things that are hidden underneath the surface and that's what the moon card speaks of as well but this is also the card of Pisces Cancer again or Scorpio okay now the moon could be speaking about the full moon uh, we're having a full moon in Taurus in the next few days which is a wonderful wonderful new moon okay and it is it it is going to be a be very beneficial 
uh, full moon. And also we've got a new moon happening in Scorpio not long after that. So information will be coming to the surface. Do trust in your intuition. Now, again, Pisces is your opposite sign, dear Virgo. And um, we do have, we've got Chiron in Pisces. Chiron is there and that's the wounded healer, bringing up things to the surface. Pisces is the 12th house, hidden matters, occult things, hidden enemies, I think, as well. So things are going to come to light. Chiron is being activated, okay? Whatever is being brought up to the surface is going to be a healing process for Virgos. One more card there, please, universe. What is it going to be? Well, here you are, Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, this is your energy. For others, this could be your partner as well. Here we have the Earth element. Now, financially, this is abundance. Remember, I was talking about Taurus and the comforts and the second house, which is your earned income. Whatever is happening here, the mother of earth, the queen of pentacles, is stability. It is financial comfort. It is, she is someone that you can totally depend on, whether this is your energy or whether this is a partner, which is um, in your in your environment, in your life. Um, whatever it is, I feel as though this is stability that is coming in for you. And for a lot of you in relation to business, this is a very good card here, very good omen. If there has been a feeling of lack, there is going to be a change. Um... I'm going to look at the Page of Swords, the King of Wands and the Ten of Swords. There's the heartache and for some of you we are talking about, you know, a love triangle. We've got the Three of Swords here, okay, and also the Ten of Swords here. So you are going through heartache and you and your partner, okay, may be going through heartache, whatever it is. Three of Swords, difficult energy. We've also got the Five of Swords here. We've got three people here. When is Virgo going to have happiness? I'm going to take another card, one more, up there with the Page of Swords and the King of Wands. And then we've got the Queen of Cups, another queen. Another queen. Now this could be Sun, Moon or Rising, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So usually with a Cancer card, that could be a Cancerian as well. As I said, Sun, Moon or Rising. Again, this could be your energy. Now when we've got three queens... We could be talking about gossip, okay? These could be three, three different um, archetypes, okay? Three different archetypes of the same person. Whatever it is, the Queen of Cups is a very emotional queen. She is also a very intuitive queen. She's very in touch with, with her intuition. She knows also, um, what was I thinking? Yeah, Virgo, as I said, your opposite sign is Pisces, right? So this could be your element here, your intuition. It's saying trust your intuition and that you will be okay. Chiron is working on your behalf, trying to bring up whatever information is necessary 
okay, whatever has been buried deeply into that 12th house to bring it up and to heal it. Let me take another card on the world card and the five of swords. Now, as I said, three queens here, that could be gossip. These could be other people in your life. For everyone, it's going to be different. This is a general reading, right? We've got the full. Okay, so we've got the world card, which is the last. And then we've got the full. Some of you, as I said, could be taking a leap of faith, flying to an international, on an international basis going overseas, taking a risk. Let me look at the chariot. One card for the chariot, one for justice, one for the will of fortune, and one for the queen of wands. Let's go. The chariot. We've got the strength card. Another major arcana. We've got the page of pentacles here with the queen of wands. With the justice. Justice will, will come in for you. And the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune will wish card, Virgo. Okay, whatever is coming in for you is your wish. You've got two wish cards. Look at that. I'm going to take one last card for the Star card. The Queen of Wands here, Page of Pentacles turning over a new page of stability. Okay, this is your element here. You've got, you're looking at the pentacle. You're looking at how you can manifest. If this is financially, business-wise, you're, you're beginning something that is much more stable, much more uh, well-suited for you, something that is going to bring in stability for you. And again, this could be another earth sign, which is, you know, an idea coming from an earth sign which may help you. Now here we've got the strength card, okay? Strength means taming your wild beast. This means it's the card of Leo. Leo is where the north node is, moving into the energy of looking at what is working for you in your life and keeping it. If, if there is something that is not working for you with through a lot of patience and perseverance, you will be able to manifest. Okay, major arcana, very strong. One last card and justice here with the six of wands says that you are going to be successful. Six is a number of balance. Okay. One last card for the star card here. Okay. Five of pentacles, you see? So this is where, where you are at. You are feeling a sense of lack. The five, five of pentacles says that Two people are left out in the cold. It is a number five, which says that external things are going to come in, but the blessings are behind you here. So do not fret. Yes, you're going through difficult times right now, but there is a change coming in. Given time, we've got the nine of cups here. Nine weeks, information may be coming in. We've got the ten and the nine. Nine of cups, you're a step before the ten of cups before you will be able to manifest. Let me let me have a look at the Sibylas. I want to see um, what's happening in the environment position first. Who is this emperor? And what is this ace of wands? And of course the eight of wands, which is a card of movement, flight, travel, messages. So two fours here, which speak of your stability. Imeno, which is a spiritual bond, a relationship. Amalato, which is low morale. Someone is ill. 
And then we've got the Viaggio, which is a card of travel. Also, uh, this is someone coming in, a visitor. Someone may be coming in or you may be traveling to visit someone. Okay, so there is, there has been hardship here with Yamalato. Someone may be literally in a low morale, low psychological state in relation to a spiritual bond. But there is a movement. The uh, Usually nights are all about action, right? So there is a change here. So this is the feeling of Sagittarius for me because Sagittarius is the um, um, half horse, half man, right? Um, also Sagittarius is the ninth house which speaks of travel, foreign travel, foreign people and also about your belief system, what you believe in. Also, the ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter, and Jupiter is in Scorpio, Scorpio, you know, bringing in the changes. So there is going to be movement here. Something is coming in to help that low morale in relation to a spiritual bond, a spiritual connection. Let me look at the... Um, the outcome what is going on there <sighs> stanza which is intimacy secrets or news coming in speranza which is the card of hope and then we've got Allegresa al cuore, which is happiness, but also three people here, right? So happiness, hope of news coming in, in relation to secrets, in relation to information that is not known. And then we've got these three people that are dancing. So yes, this is a very positive card. But again, as I said, in relation to intimacy and three people, a situation, three people here. Also, the Speranza can be a card of fears. Whatever information is coming in, it will bring hope for you the information that will come in with the Page of Swords, which is beneath that. One more card, and it's this one. Casa, stability, home, roots, stably, finances. Okay, this is the house, and look at what a house it is. Structure. Structure is coming in. Let me look at the Six of Wands with the Justice card. Donna Maritata, the woman with children, and many times this is like the, the Empress. There is growth here. Denaro, which is the like the Ace of Pentacles. It's the money, the safe. Okay, financial stability. And morte, which is transformation, death. Jupiter in Scorpio. For some of you, a Scorpio may be significant in your lives. I'm going to take some Sevillas on... Um, what is this leap of faith? What is this new cycle that is opening up for you, dear Virgo? What is this all about? The Fool, the World card and the Five of Swords. Omaggio di Preziosi, the Precious Gifts. Donna de Servizio, this is like the card of Virgo. This is your servant, your helper that is bringing in help. It is a very positive card. 
Virgo, I'm so happy for you. Amore, this is little Cupid. What you are beginning, I just got the goosebumps. What you are beginning, the risk that Virgo is taking is going to pay off. I think I will leave the Sibylas at that. I'm so glad to see that for you. Let me take some um, Lenormand cards. And thank you so much for your patience. Just dropped one. We've got the key. The key is a beautiful card. It's information coming in. You're going to be able to unlock the mystery, whatever mystery, whatever new door is in front of you. You've got the key to open it. <clears throat> Excuse me. For Virgo, please, in November. Two more cards. We've got the loyal friend here. The dog, your best friend. And then we've got the bear, which is protection. Protection, the mother. Okay, you are being looked over by the universe, by the cosmos. You've got protection here. You've got loyalty. Your loyalty is going to pay off. How beautiful is that? Let me take Doreen Virtue, Romance Angels for Virgo. For November, please, universe. A message for dear Virgo. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Dear friends, friends, clients, subscribers. Ah, I'm going to take one more. That card really wanted to come out, but I'd like to choose one for Virgo November. 2017, Archangel Michael, one card for Virgo, for love. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? And what is the card that wanted to come out? Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So, dear Virgo, that is the message for you. I do hope that that was helpful for you. That's all the universe wanted to give to you for the month of November. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Um, my love and all my blessings to all of you. Um, a little bit of patience. You're just almost there, almost finding your balance, okay? Keep a lookout for the, um, the next readings, which will be in the next few days, full moon in Taurus reading and new moon in Scorpio real soon. Okay, I'm just completing all the November readings. Thank you. Thank you, Virgo. Bye-bye.